so the next definition is specific gravity of solids it is defined as denoted with g and defined as weight of a given volume of solids to the weight of an equivalent volume of water so weight of an equivalent volume of water means the unit weight of water and this is the weight of weight of solids divided by volume of solids is the unit weight of solids so it can be written as gamma s upon gamma w next is the mass specific gravity it is denoted with g it is equal to the bulk unit weight divided by unit weight of water so now we will see some important relationships derived using a phase diagram and between these parameters what we saw first is a relationship between water content weight of solids and total weight it is solid water air and we know water content is equal to the volume weight of water to the weight of solids so if it is ws then weight of water is equal to water content times weight of solids w times ws this is w ws and this is also equal to the total weight so i can write here total weight is equal to weight of solids plus weight of water and total weight is equal to weight of solids so weight of water is this and from here weight of solids is equal to total weight divided by 1 by small w this is the first relationship similarly we can write for volume of solids and total volume solid water air and if this is volume of solids So from the definition of void ratio we know that volume of voids upon volume of solids. From here volume of voids is equal to E time volume of solids. This is equal to E V S. <coughs> so from here total volume is equal to volume of solids plus volume of voids. And volume total volume is equal to volume of solids plus E V S from here volume of solids is equal to total volume divided by 1 plus e next is the relationship between porosity and void ratio So the porosity is equal to volume of voids to the total volume again from here solid water this is
and E is equal to volume of void to the volume of solids and from here I can write volume of voids is equal to E times volume of solids and N is equal to volume of voids, voids divided by total volume is equal to volume of voids plus volume of solids so N is equal to EVS divided by EVS plus VS which is from where N is equal to E upon 1 plus E because N VS will cancel out so this is the relationship between N and E and if we solve it for E so from here E is equal to N upon 1 minus N next is the relationship between specific gravity water content degree of saturation and void ratio this is a very important relationship and it will be used many times this is the solid water air and if I consider the volume of solids to be 1 so the weight of solids will be equal to we know the specific gravity is equal to weight of solids to the volume of solids into unit weight of water so if Vs is equal to 1 so Ws is equal to Gs gamma W which is Gs gamma W and from here if Ws is equal to Gs gamma W then weight of water will be equal to water contained times Gs gamma W so this W Gs gamma W because water content is weight um, weight of water to the weight of solids so weight of water water contained times weight of solids will be equal to the weight of water and the degree of saturation is defined as the volume of water filled with water divided by volume of voids so if the volume of solids is equal to 1 then volume of voids will be equal to from porosity from the void ratio we know that volume of void is volume of solids so if volume of solids is equal to 1 then volume of voids will be equal to E so I can write it as volume of water divided by E now unit weight of water we know that gamma W is equal to weight of water to the volume of water and weight of water is given as WGS gamma W so volume of water will be equal to WGS and if I put this value in this equation so we will get S equal to WGS divided by E as S e equal to WGS next is the bulk unit weight in terms of G gamma W E so bulk unit weight is equal to total weight on total volume so again from the phase diagram If I say this is 1 then volume of 
voids will be equal to E and weight of solids will be equal to Gs gamma W and weight of water will be equal to W Gs gamma W and so from here total weight is equal to Gs gamma W plus W Gs gamma W divided by total volume is equal to 1 plus E so gamma T is equal to if we take common Gs gamma W that is 1 plus W Gs gamma W upon 1 plus E this is one relation and as we saw earlier WGS S E equal to WGS so if we put this value here so gamma T is equal to Gs gamma W plus S E gamma W divided by 1 plus E from here gamma T is equal to Gs plus S E gamma W upon 1 plus E now from this equation only we can find the other unit weights that is dry unit weight for dry unit weight saturation degree of saturation is equal to 0 so if I put it here so gamma D is equal to Gs gamma W upon 1 plus E and for saturated unit weight S is equal to 1 so gamma saturated is equal to Gs plus E gamma W divided by 1 plus E and the next is submerged unit weight so submerged unit weight we know it is given as gamma submerged is equal to gamma sat saturated minus gamma W so if we put it here gamma submerged is equal to G plus E upon 1 plus E gamma W minus gamma W from here gamma submerged is equal to Gs minus 1 upon 1 plus E gamma W after that the, there is a relationship between gamma d gamma t and water content so gamma t is equal to total weight upon total volume which we can write as weight of solids plus weight of water divided by volume of solids plus volume of water plus volume of air we don't need it so we can just it as P. So from the water content we know that it is volume of weight of water to the weight of solids. So weight of water is equal to W times weight of solids. So if we put it here so it is weight of solids plus W weight of solids by the total volume and from here WS will be common. So weight of solids to total volume is the dry unit weight and it will be into 1 plus water content so from here dry unit weight is equal to bulk unit weight divided by 1 plus water content and these are the main relationships relationships which we will use further in our applications and in various other topics 
सो दैट्स इट फॉर दिस लेक्चर